Awaiting the arrival of a man coming from a country that has helped change many lives in an area many Ugandans consider remote and almost civilized, with malnourished Kato, amongst many bad things, were the Karimujung girls, most of whom are at the forefront of this change, dancing with precision. It wasn't long before Iran's Tonishta or Deputy Prime Minister, also the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Imon Gilmo, and Ireland's ambassador to Uganda, got off the Eagle Airways plane at Moroto Airstrip. With an entourage in tow, they were in Karamoja for a purpose, checking on the biggest investment ever made in Karamoja, education. At the Moroto Core Primary Teachers College, one of the 13 institutions of education being aided by Irish aid in Karamoja region, they were joined by the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, also Uganda's First Lady, Janet Museveni, who has witnessed the changes. Here in Karamoja, we have put a particular emphasis on education because we value education. We know the enormous change that education has made to our country. We know the enormous difference that it has made to the lives of people in our country. We know the liberating effect. And slowly we have hope that uh, this part of our country is slowly but surely changing for the better. Now, you cannot say you have been in Karamoja if you do not see the way they sleep at night in places called Manyatas. Since the Irish government supports livelihood in the region, especially by catering for the elderly through the Social Assistance Grants for Empowerment, SAGE, the minister with his entourage inspected these Manyatas built to suit their way of life. Their entrance has a built to ward off the enemy, despite the fact that Karamoja is now a more secure area than it was about three years ago. The government of Ireland, together with the government of the United Kingdom, are working together uh, under the advice of uh, the Ministry um, of, of the of Elderly here and government of Uganda to introduce this scheme, which means that 24,000 shillings is paid to the beneficiaries each month. Focus is on the most vulnerable and impoverished, whom Irish aid hopes to pull from the reins of poverty. Irish aid is investing in education, health, social protection and development in Karamoja, an area which has been lagging behind on all these fronts of development. Florence Nalimba, NTV Moroto District.